Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you automatic and continuous scrolling in Reaper. Now, by default, automatic scrolling or auto scroll is turned on. So if we play a project from here, it's going to scroll as the edit cursor moves off the screen. And if we hit stop, it doesn't jump back to the edit cursor until we hit play again. Hit play again, it jumps back to the edit cursor and plays again. And if we scroll through the project, every time we hit play, it's gonna jump back to the edit cursor and play from there. And that's known as auto scroll or automatic scrolling. And like I said, it's on by default. And we can see it in the options menu. It's turned on right here. So if we turn it off and hit play, it doesn't auto scroll. It keeps playing off screen and we can move to find it right here but it doesn't move automatically or jump back when we hit play. So our scrolling is completely independent of where the edit cursor and the play cursor is. If I hit play, it's gonna play the song, but it's not gonna jump to where the edit or play cursor is. But if we turn it back on, which it is by default, it will. It'll jump back, and keep scrolling along with the song. And like I said, it doesn't jump back until we hit play again. But if you wanted to jump back when we hit stop, there's a preference for that. Let's go to our preferences and go under playback and the options right over here. Scroll view to edit cursor on stop. If we choose this, now when we play, it's going to auto scroll as it plays. But if we hit stop, it immediately jumps back. So if you wanted to jump on stop, back to the edit cursor, turn on the option right over here. Scroll view to edit cursor on stop. But again, it's off by default. So it's only going to jump when we hit play again. So it auto scrolls during play. If we hit stop, it doesn't move. But if we hit play again, it jumps back to the edit cursor. And we can also separate how it behaves in play versus record. If we go back to the preferences, and this time go into recording, there's an option over here to scroll track view while recording, assuming it's turned on. So if we turn this off, it's not going to auto scroll during recording, but it still will during play. But if we go into record on this track and record, it's not going to auto scroll as we can see. It's still going to record and we can see where it's recording. But it's not going to scroll automatically, not in record, but in playback, it will. So it separates the behavior when you're in play or record. But again, this option is on by default, so it's going to auto scroll in play or record. Now, besides auto scroll, we could also continuous scroll. So with auto scroll turned on, we can turn on continuous scrolling. And what that's going to do is it's going to scroll automatically, but it's going to keep the playhead in the middle of our screen like this. See how the playhead is right in the middle of our screen? Hit it again, goes back to where it started, but it always keeps the playhead 
in the middle of our screen. So if we jump around to different places, the playhead is always in the middle, which is very useful for showing off your projects in a video like this, or maybe for a client, or just if you want to see the music as it goes by. As we can see it, hit the playhead in real time. This is also useful when we use pause. So if I hit play, it plays back with the play cursor in the middle. We can hit pause and it stops it in that spot. Hit it again and it plays again from that spot. Hit it again and it pauses and so on. So it's kind of useful if you see the spot you want to jump to, you can just pause right there. But keep in mind, it's also very useful to leave this off. Let's say we zoomed in on this spot right here. We don't want our screen to move while we play back. We want to see it go by. Like that. So we can jump around very easily and play it from wherever we want without the screen jumping around. So it's very useful to leave it off or leave it on like it's set up in the default. So that's pretty much it. That's automatic and continuous scrolling in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!